Hi friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I am a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. So when I filmed my February studio vlog, I had no idea how much footage I got. So I decided to break it into two pieces. You're about to watch part one, which is the first half of February. So I'm going to let Fiona of the past take it away. I hope you enjoy. Hi friends. Look how cute my latte glass is. Isn't this so cute? It is officially February 1st. Mm. It's the cutest. Also, before anybody asks, this is a heat pack. And when I have Costco chondritis, which is basically the chest plates inflamed, I rock this to help with the pain. So if anybody was wondering how physical therapy is going. Anyway, um, I thought I would do a quick catch up since it is yeah, it's February 1st, and the last time I spoke to you guys, um, I think was more like mid-January, and I was trying to figure out, like, what is this year going to look like, and I had sort of a lot of things on my plate that were all kind of clumped in, like, April, May, June time, um, so a lot of stuff has changed, a lot of stuff has moved around, and it's actually worked out for the better that now my calendar's pretty spaced out. Um, so I'm gonna try and go through this in order because I should have wrote this down, um, but I have it all digitally on my phone, which is what I record on, by the way. So let's see if I can remember. So the first thing coming up is end of March. I need to hang a show at the Princeton Arts Council because for two weeks in April, I will be doing a mural with them. The dates for that as of now are April 11th through the 24th. And the last day on the 24th, they have like a big event. I think it's called Porch Fest. It used to be known in Princeton as Communiversity. And basically a bunch of people will come out and there's like activities all around town. And I will be finishing up the mural so people can come see me. So if you're a local and you want to come out, that would be really fun and it would be nice to meet you guys. Um, but that's sort of the first upcoming thing. So uh, hanging that show in March and that will run through June. Um, no, I lied. It will run through May because I had said to them that I now have the other art fair in June. So when I spoke to you last month, it was originally in May and it was in the old venue that it's always been in. So they have changed venues and they have moved the dates to that first weekend of June. So when I told them I have a show in June, they were really flexible and said, if you need to take any of the work down for that, you can, you know, come collect it in that way. I don't feel like I have to make double the amount of work to split between both of those things. So they were really nice and flexible about that. So March through end of May, I will have work at the Princeton Arts Council potentially longer if I do make enough stuff, but we'll see. Then June, other art fair. Then July, I have um, a six week solo show. So that'll run through July through early August at the Rio Gallery. And that is in Manhattan, like north tip of Manhattan, Bronx-ish, I guess. Um, anyway that will be happening and they have started sending me details for that like floor plans all of it so i can start figuring that out and then the next thing i'll get like a few weeks break uh like august to beginning of september and then the end of september to beginning of october i want to do the other art fair in los angeles so i remember talking to you guys saying i got accepted into the la fair for this spring but that would have been late March and I just feel like I didn't have enough time to plan, especially with, you know, two solos and another art fair. It was just too much. 
So I kind of had them bookmark me for the September one. And so the plan is I will hopefully go out to Los Angeles uh, end of September, beginning of October for that. That's also like a tentative date. That's when they typically have it. So obviously they don't have that set yet, but that's what I've put on my calendar for now. And then um, rest of October, another like, I guess little break area. And then other art fair Brooklyn happens in like second week or first weekend of November. Then I will do my holiday shop after that. And then that is the year. Oh my gosh, and I totally forgot. So in April, I was originally meant to have a solo show locally here at a coffee shop. And then I contacted them asking about my um, basically hanging date. And then they informed me that uh, their calendar has been completely pushed because of COVID. And then I said, okay, well, when would be like the next available time for me? And then they said, um, October, but I will be away in LA more than likely uh, that first week. So I wouldn't be able to hang the show. So then I said, is there any other dates? And they said, December. So December, I will be having a solo show at the local coffee shop here, um, which is great. I love that. Maybe I'll do something that's like giftable for the holidays. We'll see. February will be a lot of studio work. I'm also gonna go to a lot of these places so I can kind of like see the layout because I mean, I've been sent like, um, you know, like 3D renderings of spaces or like measurements, but sometimes it just helps me to actually like physically be in the space and see it and take some photos and video myself so I can really start planning my layouts. So February is gonna be a combination of working on stuff and uh, visiting sites so I can plan how I wanna hang things for these upcoming shows. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this vlog and let's get some work done. It is February 2nd. I am editing my video to go up tomorrow. Oh man, it's kind of a nightmare to edit because, I don't know, I don't even explain this, but it's kind of boring, but basically Premiere Pro had an update to the 2022 version and now the color profiles are off. Anyway, took forever to edit. So that is exporting. Um, what else? I'm, I'm a real joy today. I haven't been feeling very well today or yesterday. And I, um, 
so I didn't get very far on my ceramic, but my mom is coming tomorrow and she's going to pick up um, the two pieces here that I've finished as well as the other piece that I'm going to do while she's here. So hopefully I can finish it while she's here. Another interesting thing happened, um, which is I basically got contacted um, by an old sponsor. Um, I shouldn't say old sponsor. They just sponsored me last year. Um, but they, um, we had a call and they want to send me to fashion week next week. So kind of a last minute thing, but, uh, not sure. So I haven't gotten the official contract and first rule of business, it's not official until it's official, right? So we'll see if that comes in. Regardless, I'm going to go get my bangs trimmed because they are needing it and get my hair colored just so I can look nice. I'll go get my nails done next week too. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go do a little shopping this weekend. Hopefully if, if I'm feeling better, um, what can I say? Chronic illness, always a thing. Um, but I guess also while I wait for this video to export, I do have a few things that came in the mail. So why don't we open those together and take a look? So this is like a at-home manicure set um, because I got some for Valentine's Day that I wanted to try out on my nails, but now that I'm going to fashion week, I'm gonna go get them professionally done. cleanser, cuticle pen, um, top coat, and base coat. So there's all of that. And then I got, I guess that one comes with like this basic, just like beige design, which is like fine. I can try that out when I'm practicing, but I wanted to get this one it has little hearts on it. How cute is that? Anyway, I'm not going to be trying that out till later this month, probably, but we'll throw it all in here for now. I got something else from Moo Global, another sweater, because you guys know I've been wearing my Kyoto sweater like nonstop. I love it. And um, this is one of her older designs, but I really, 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 really wanted it. So, <laughs> cute card. This is what comes in. And so the other one was Kyoto, and this one is Mount Fuji. So it's sort of the same where it's just the front with like that says Mount Fuji and then the back. Yeah, excuse me. How cool is this design? Anyway, you guys will catch me in that. Love it. Next. So this last thing is actually art related and my mom is bringing more new glazes tomorrow. We've been trying these ones called Coyote Glazes. And um, so far we've been really liking the colors, but she said that she was just gonna get some mailed to me. So let's see what this looks like. Stroke and coat blue. So 
I had said to her that I wanted to do blue on that larger one. Then she was like, no, do it in black for now and I'll order a blue for later. And then ironically, I've started it in black and I've gotten nowhere. So <laughs> I could have just waited and done it with this. But anyway, I will be testing this out. But that is what is up for now. I think my video is probably done exporting. So I'm going to go do that. But I will see you guys tomorrow when my mom is over. Please. So mom is here and she has brought lots of goodies. Is this one red on the inside? Looks like it. So fresh ones out of the bisque fire. We have four here, three. We got two more in here, two, three. It's quite a few. Um, another box of glazes arrived. And da, da 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 these ones, fresh out of the kiln. This one though is my favorite. It's quite heavy, so I don't want to pick it up, but that blue with the teal and orange. Ooh, I love it. The rest are pretty cool too. <laughs> This one out came out better than what I had anticipated. The white showed up pretty good, so might be doing more of that motif. This looks nice. This is the mustard yellow. And then this one was meant to be bright green, if you all remember. But for some reason, it kind of turned chambray. Not really sure why but it looks nice. It came out nice. So such is the nature of ceramics. This one's really nice too, actually. What color is this one? Sky blue and teal. Yes. And then blue in the middle, but exciting stuff happening. My job today is to work on this guy. And this is how far I have gotten. So lots more to do. Let's get into it. Mom just left. I am still working on this guy. <laughs> it is taking a really long time, but I'm also like, you know, making sure that I'm trying to be consistent with the small marks and I'm using like the tiniest brush in existence. But I think it's going to be worth it. It is going to be an art object if I say so myself. Um, but mom, mom did good today. She glazed all these pieces for me so that I can get working on them and made little notes. So sage is this color and then to go over it with black liner. This is blue pansy. This is gonna be a blue pansy color, believe it or not. Um, and that one's white liner. Um, that one's just blue liner. So anyway, just notes for all of these guys, things I can work on, and hopefully I can get through some of these this weekend and then find time 
to drop that off with her next week. She took the pieces that I had completed over there. So that's good. That's out of the way. Um, but really this is my biggest hurdle right now because it is just, this is a big boy with a lot of detail. <laughs> um, yeah. What's interesting too about these is that she put the colors, but not, like she didn't give me any design direction. Um, so I will be deciding what to do with these. I haven't really done anything with dots yet, but we will see. There might, there might be an opportunity for some of that with these guys. But I'm going to keep working on this tonight and then uh, I am going to stop and have something to eat and I might just rest tonight and then pick this back up tomorrow. I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Good morning. It's Sunday. Yesterday, I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, still waking up. So yesterday I did finish that big vase that I've been working on for the last few days. It kind of took me like three days working on it nonstop to finish it actually, but I did not film myself working on it because I was chatting to Maria. Um, but anyway, today is a new day. I have uh, painting to work on and more stuff to glaze. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit done on both. So I'm going to make some coffee and get into it. My mom got me coffee from Small World, which is my favorite place in Princeton. Oh my God, it smells and tastes so good. This is like gonna be a new addiction in this home. <laughs> but anyway, gonna put on a fresh cup of coffee and go upstairs. First thing I'm going to do is start on some ceramics, maybe a small one like this guy, just to sort of warm up and get into the way of working. Do work this morning, then I have to film like the haul that I got from the sketchbook library because I want to do a giveaway on that video. If you're watching this, I've probably already done it. Congratulations to the winner. Anyway, um, and then that will be ready for me to edit tomorrow. I like to do editing on Mondays, so that's the plan for that. And then I do want to do another coat of paint on this painting. So I will probably do a little thing on that guy, a layer here, do another ceramic, another layer here, and then hopefully I can make progress because while I've been doing great with ceramics, I haven't, like, January passed and I didn't finish a single painting, which isn't great. <laughs> so I want to get working on this and then I might even put a background on another big painting. We will see. So let's get working.
Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then work on something else over here. Zelta, no. I don't know why she is really fascinated with this right now, but that is a no. No, no, Zelta, no. Mm -hmm. Come here, look, you have your chew and you put it in the sunny spot. Yes, good girl, good girl, good girl. Go take it and lay down. Yeah. You can see she's still a handful. <laughs> Gonna work on some of this stuff now though. Um, I don't know which one to do. I feel like maybe this guy. Let's do it. Okay, so that's how much more I still have to do on this guy. But I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night because it's nine o'clock and I wanna go spend some family time. But I will finish it tomorrow and then I have to do some video editing for the week's video. So I'll probably check back in on this vlog in a few days. See you then. Hello friends, it's Friday the 11th of February. And today I'm going to be heading into New York City. I have been kindly asked by a sponsor to go to an event tomorrow. I can't talk about it on here for legal reasons, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what that's all about. But anyway, they have booked a hotel for the night. So Andre and I are gonna go do a little staycation of sorts and then probably go check out some art after tomorrow's events. But we have to drop off the dog with her grandparents. So that is what I'll be doing this morning. 
yesterday I packed up all the ceramics. I'm very happy about that. It was a very productive week. So hopefully my mom can get all of this into the kiln this upcoming week. Um, I also worked a little bit more on this painting. Still more to go. My goal is to finish it in this coming up week. And I do have a few more ceramics to do. And I know she's gonna send me back with more. But anyway, I am going to pack my suitcase. I tried on all my outfits last night. Shout out to my friends who were giving me all their opinions on what does someone wear to New York Fashion Week because I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that is all going to be packed up right now. Then going to go drop off Zelda and the ceramics and then pick up Andre and we're gonna head into the city. So hopefully I can bring you guys along and you enjoy that. Good morning. It is Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate. And a very happy birthday to my bestie, Maria, a fellow artist. I mention her here a lot. So leave her a happy birthday in the comments because it is her birthday month. Anyway, um, Monday, back in the studio. It was a very busy, uh, chaotic, like Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday, I just loafed out. Like I did nothing yesterday. I think I took two naps, took Zelda out a few times. It was like 60 degrees Saturday, then snowing yesterday. So it was like a really good day to just like hang out indoors, but we had a really nice weekend. And now, yeah, back to reality in the studio. So as you can see, there are more boxes here. When we went to pick up Zelda from my parents, my mom sent me home with more ceramics. So I'm gonna unbox those and then a couple of new glazes. So I'm gonna take those out. And I also have to do some updated sketches for the mural. Um, we kind of passed like the first phase of concepts and now we're honed in on one concept and I just have to do a few updates. And then um, stuff from the weekend, I just need to wrap up. So stuff for the sponsor I worked with. Um, and then I have to, I have to put together my video for this week. So I don't even really know <laughs> what it'll be like. I hope I got enough stuff at the Whitney. It was like really busy and um, I don't know. It just was hard to navigate with so many people there, but I did my best. So hopefully we can pull together like something for a vlog for this week based on that. And then I think this is the last week of this video or no, I have this weekend next week and then that'll be my studio vlog. But once kind of all the stuff I need to wrap up is out of the way, this painting is my priority this week. And then any more ceramics I can get done, great. Hopefully start another painting because time is moving on and girl needs to make some paintings. So um, let's unbox this stuff, see what's in there. I also, Got a little swag bag this weekend, so I kind of want to see what's in there. So let's take a look. We'll open the swag bag first. That was my itinerary that I threw in there. And this was my bracelet from New York Fashion Week. That was so much fun. I was actually really nervous going into it because I've been in the fashion world before and I left it and I was like, do I even belong here? Like, I don't know what I was doing, but everyone was so nice and um, it was just fun, you know, just enjoyed the experience. So everyone that I met was really cool. So got a little bag here. Everyone was saying this stuff is amazing. Skincare. I got brightening eye serum. I don't use this stuff before, but maybe this will change my mind. Um, this is like a little lip sampler, lip gloss 
I got two of those. And then dry patch. What is this for? I guess maybe if you have a blemish, you just put it on there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna give that a shot. But that's nice, nice little package. And then I got a bottle of Prosecco. Um, so it was given to me in the hotel, but I try not to drink when I have work stuff going on. I just try to keep it dry, you know, so I can be on a, be on point. But I might have this another time, maybe this week later to celebrate or something or I don't know I'll leave it here and when I feel like I'm gonna celebrate we'll pop that open but that's nice nice little gift package and then these are some new glazes my mom sent over um so these have already the testers have come out of the kiln for it it's these same coyote glazes that I've really been liking they're really vibrant so I think the only one that didn't show up was the yellow when we tried it. We were just having so much trouble getting a yellow to work, but the reds look great and the blues look great. So I think I'll be making a few more. We were also waiting on a tester to come back for this one, which I know looks kind of like purple, but it's actually a dark blue. It's called Blue Pansy. And it is so dark that I think I'm gonna have to use white liner on this instead of black. So good to know, that's why we do testers. Here's a bigger thing of Blue Pansy because mom had ordered in these sizes and then they actually sent her this size. And then she called them back and said, no, I wanted the larger size. So they sent these through. Um, I think one of the only ones we got in the small size intentionally was this yellow. And sure enough, in the tester, it burned off. It didn't even show up. So do I even have room? <laughs> to keep stacking these now it's up to my pegboard I think I'm gonna have to sort this out this is getting kind of messy with all my glazes so I'm gonna have to probably organize this later um I think was that it or is there more in there? that was it you can hear Zelda's here with me she's barking because there's construction happening outside I don't know. I think our neighbor's having work done on their house, so she is bark, bark, barking. Elda. It's okay. I know. The construction's annoying, but they'll be done soon. Don't worry. I promise. Come here. Come here, my little Valentine. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay, yeah. All right. Let me unbox the rest of this stuff and see. See what we got. Okay, this is what we have. So you've seen these three guys and that one that I've been working on, this big new one, and then these guys. So I think these are sort of cups for art supplies that a few of you requested. And then just some little small porcelain vases, which are cute. These two, which are fresh out the kiln and this guy. So good, more to add, but lots more to do. Let's get into it.